Stupid blue eye. Girl, I need that paper number one. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you got 20 followers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wow. see. Okay, you ready to say go? Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another Ask Keisha Mo. Today, we're going to do relationship questions, things that people are dying to know about. <laughs> Dealing with these psycho ass relationships. Um, let's get into some of the Instagram questions that we received. The first question is from at happily naturally natural lit 26. And her question was, why do women do the good boys so wrong and chase the bad boys? Uh I don't know. I don't know. I like I like bad good boys though. Man, because nice guys finish last. Stop feeding them dreams. <laughs> nice guys finish fucking last. What, what, say hello to the bad guy. I've always been a bad guy. Oh, Not God. now. But <laughs> I was before. And I was, man, winning. Uh, okay. Winning. Not, not Jordan. <laughs> I'm like, this guy is Steve Curry, but you know, I mean, I'm playing for one team now, but still all in all. Nice guys finish last. Nice guys are push Weak. What, do we, what is the definition of a nice guy? Did nah. she say nice guy or good guy? She said good boy is so wrong to chase the bad Okay, boys. there's a difference between okay. a good guy and a nice guy. Okay, good guy. Okay. Nice guy can be fucked up and just friendly. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them fucked up, but whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, I'm done with all of them. Bad boys seem to fuck me. I'm sick of all of them. Adventure. Yeah. Or. I want a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. I need a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I'm sick of you niggas. No. I'm done with you. I'm sick of you. Oh. 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 She don't edit that out though, it's good. No, I'm not. No, she's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the part that makes it. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, then we have a question from at BB007 Beauty. Her question was, why do some women share intimate details about their relationship? By intimate, I mean sexual. That is a violation, ladies. Um, I know we as women do that. We talk about things as friends. Yeah, we do. They know. I told them about the other night. Um, it's just something that women do. We just tell each other. We, we tell each other the good, the bad, the ugly, the embarrassing shit, the funny shit. If he cracked our back or if he made us want to go to sleep. We just tell each other everything. That could be a good thing. No, nah, made us want to go to sleep like, oh, nigga, bye. Bye, Felicia. Please go home. That bye. I guess you just have to know your servant. <laughs> yeah, I, like it has to be like your intimate close friends. I'm not just gonna be telling everybody nah. my sexual business. No. Yeah, it has. You have to know your circle. And besides, even if it, even if one of them, I just feel like this bitch. If you can be me rocking, you can have my chair. You can have them. Right. Exactly. And we I'm only talk talking. about the first time, not all the time. It's just like that first time or some just like crazy shit went down. Like every time he does something new, we talk yeah. about like, it. Girl. <laughs> Like, he pours something else out in his bag. <laughs> right. <laughs> or if it's like the smallest and the worst, he's a fallout boy. We talk about that. Yep. A fallout boy. We talk about that. Who told me that? A fallout boy. We don't like those. Oh my God. Boy. Or if his pain was shaped like the Titanic and we just like, Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> At the new content says, is it okay for a woman to carry her man so he can chase his dreams? And if so, when is the cutoff? No, it is not okay unless that is your husband. If you are my boyfriend, no, I will encourage you. I will be like your true leader. But as far as like supporting you financially, my nigga, not happening at all. Mm -hmm. No, only child I'm about, to, man, I'm going to be supporting is Jesus and my son. Other than that. No, because you're not going to be putting my all into you and then getting you where you need to be and then you, you leave know. me. Or then I'm just sitting up here and uh -huh. letting my years and my good looks and my time go to waste and I'm not achieving the things that I need to achieve for myself. Because I'm telling you one thing about these niggas. These niggas out here going to make sure they are all right. They going to make sure they straight. They ain't going to worry about your ass in that goddamn end. So you got to make sure that you take care of you. Because you only got you. And That's even enough. with your husbands, I, I would strongly advise, and I'm not going to be biased and just say, uh, say that about the husbands, wives too, fellas. 
Get something in writing. That's the perk about being married. Y'all need incentive. Yeah, I need to know that when you leave me, and I'm going to write this shit just like that. I am going to support you while you are in medical school. And if we just so happen to get a divorce, you owe me this amount of dollars and I'm going to add up all the bills. I'm going to keep all this shit. It's going to be a little box of when he was in school. And I want all my shit and, and then some. How do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like you should support your mate if they're trying to achieve their goals? Yeah. I don't, the agreement thing, I don't agree with that. That's the risk you take. I mean, when you... When you Make those vows. That's the risk you take. I don't mm. think you should say, you know. See, that's why she's not getting married. I'm not getting married. But yeah, I think that's husband benefits or wife benefits of supporting somebody. Yeah. You come up on Friday, <laughs> every other Friday, and some Sundays. <clears throat> um. Next one is from at Landon's underscore Ma. She says, what the fuck is up with these niggas thinking they can have their cake and eat it too? Like, what the fuck? Not with this bitch. You won't. You won't. We'll be some cake eating motherfuckers. So <laughs> y'all let them. Yes. What the fuck is up with these hey, niggas thinking they can hey, have their cake it's too? A little bit, it's a little right. bitterness in there too. It's alright. It's alright, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> the best oh, thing is it. You know I mean, you put yourself out there like that, man. Sometimes that's how You know what? The only... The only thing about that is whenever, whatever a man or a woman does to you is because you let them. It ain't no excuse for it. You can't blame nobody but yourself. That's it. Yeah. We all see the red flags and we choose to ignore them. I just ignored them. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting over here with blue eyeshadow on trying to be cute, trying to catch me something new. <laughs> don't fall for the okie dokes. I'm telling you, all these niggas is niggas. I don't give a fuck what persuasion you are. All of them is niggas. Don't fall for the okie doke. When you see these red flags, run, Forrest. Run. Don't be dumb like me. Too Breathe. She's cute. Um, <laughs> so just don't be no damn fool. Niggas will try you and they gonna go as far as they fucking can. You give them an inch, they gonna take Have your out. eyes all the way open. Like Anytime this. you see something like, for instance, <laughs> I'll just use this for an example. I just told you about this before we started filming. Um, this is like somebody coming to your house and cooking for you. Mm. Like, most girls. Right? No, let me finish. Don't most be girls would be like, oh, he cooked for me. <laughs> I would, I would be thinking like he figured he was hungry so he gonna cook and he did your shit he said I might as well feed this bitch too so you have to be you have to have your exactly. eyes wide so open and see that bring, you can bring all the ingredients not the one I am gonna go to the house and cook <laughs> at always riding 104 says why is having a committed relationship at a young age a bad thing and I mean in my 20s because when you get our age and you look back on your 20s, you're going to be regretting trying to be in love and falling in love with some old whack ass nigga that you ain't going to even like 10 years from now. Your 20s are to hold that shit out like Rock says. You missed it. She ain't got that good thing. She ain't felt that good thing. And she like, oh man, this shit's awesome. I got some fucking couple more niggas to see if this shit gets better. It does, it gets better with age. It sure the fuck does. Because once again, that's why I'm over here too. Before Christmas. Look at that. 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 Look at She know too. It gets better and better like wine, honey. Um, but no, we just think that you should use your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> she did a TT for that. <laughs> So just be free to date to learn yourself because when you don't know shit in your 20s, you think you know everything, you think you know what the fuck is going on, you think you hit to these games, you don't know shit because I'm still dumb. Like, please believe you just don't know shit. <laughs> like, use your 20s to learn about life and yourself. Don't be trying to be committed to nobody. Look at that, like, in your late 30s trying to be committed. I mean, I'm not going to say still, you know, there are some people that, I guess... They go through high school and they, they're in their young age, they meet that one person. Yeah, very rare. That, 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 that's very rare. I'm not going to say, like, don't embrace it. Definitely do. But if you start feeling like you want to be out there like that, you need to take that opportunity. Let the other person know. I'm not saying, like, dirty gaming and, like, be sleeping around and then yeah. be still with the person. Like, let the, 
use your twenties, like I said, to just experiment and do you. Not be whoring around or anything like that, but just do you. If you a whore, be a whore. Let me tell you something. Don't. Do, I know St. Louis is small, but it's not that hard to be outside. Of, don't fuck all the club promoters like they know each other. Because I know a lot of chicks that do that. Right. Like they feel like you know they got their little St. Louis <laughs> celebrity status. Like you ain't got. To. And there ain't nobody. I was like, like, nigga, who are you? <laughs> what school are you? Hey, look, man, I'm not calling you that, mm -hmm. nigga. I ain't calling you that, nigga. Nigga, your name kept. The ones y'all think got money, you got no money. All right, yeah, no more. If you see somebody who's living a life out of control, chances are their money is out, out of control. control. Yes. They ain't got no money to be in control of. I'm sure they living in somebody's basement. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh. Don't be over there smashing on that couch. Have y'all seen that one thing? The one thing that's been on Instagram, it's like the dude on the bus, somebody on this bus got all of Jordan. Right. That shit is true. <laughs> that shit is so true. I know 10 niggas like that. Can't, got, can't tell them nothing. Like, they got all the new everything. All the new and latest video yes. games, all the new Jordans, everything. And they're not to try to tell you something. You can't tell me nothing. Nothing. The ones y'all out here think doing it in the club. Performing every other motherfucking night and can't even pay five dollars to get me in the Tommy Cowboy. Oh. Child, get your life. No. Shut up. Damn. Why don't you just say a name? Why don't you just say a name? Boom. It's hell. I'm taking shots. I'm like, you want to take a shot, though? There's some bitter bitches in here tonight. I swear it off. Say word. Um, I ain't going to talk about none of my exes because they still be coming through for me sometimes. <laughs> 